Hello everyone, it's me, and we're back with the next turn of our Rohirrim hot seat. So let us get in. There we go. Oh, uh, Gondor sent a diplomat map for map. Yes. Beautiful. And we got an end of the turn report. Mordor is military top. We're fourth. Uh, Dark Lord of Mordor, Gondor, Gondor, and Mordor is first overall. We're fifth, which is okay. That's not terribly bad. Oh, but it looks like we've lost Ginniard, which is not a good thing. And I did actually have to um, get my fourth turn subbed out, so I don't exactly know what happened. But uh, we're going to go through a recap of what I can find that did change. Uh, one thing I do know is that Gondor has called for aid as they've lost Osgiliath and they don't really want to lose any more. Yes. So we're going to help them. But we also need to establish a watchtower right here. Okay, good. Uh, so we're going to need an army to go and help them. Galmod was going to go to Waldberg. Theodred, okay, you are going to take the army south. Uh, let's just take everything. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to send this army south quickly. Uh, what else do we need? So we've got a little bit of money, not too much. So what we really need to work on is our... is our uh, economy more than anything. That barracks is almost done, which will give us some really good units. Hmm, I need to check, because uh, I knew I had some agents around here. I had a diplomat now, who was going to scout. Oh, there's Treebeard, the end. Oh, that's sick. I didn't even know that was possible. Huh. Interesting. Interesting indeed. But it looks like they have indeed taken Fangorn. Yes, they have. And Guineard as well. So they're quickly quickly expanding, which is not good. And I also believe... If, yes, there's my spy. And there's Lord Ugluk with some of his orky orkies. And I believe that I am going to do something about them. Ooh, yes. Okay, good. Uh, need to take a screenshot of this real fast. F12. And then... Auto-resolve. Oh, clear defeat. Oh, no. Well, I mean... Not good, but it had to happen. Oh, yay. There we go. Just needed to get rid of my screen. My capture counter. So, ah, man, that guy is really good. That's probably why our general down here, Egbert, is not too special. Mm, well, that's not good, but what are you going to do? Need to figure out what the army is here. Because Hornberg is not yet going to need too much of a defense. But the other places along the uh, my borders will. And then I need to muster the rest of my armies that are in the south, which is not too much, sadly. I'm going to send these guys to meet up with that other army, and I'm also going to recruit some guys in Aldeburg to try and assist. Can we recruit anything here? Yeah, we can. Okay. We're basically going to muster everything we've got and send them to Theodred down here. 
as he continues moving south. Uh, he's not too great of a commander yet, but he's got an aspiring command, so I have faith. Although I could send Theoden if I wanted to, but I'm going to keep him back. Uh, what else? What else? So basically, we need to divide our forces between the west and the east. Now. I'm going to send these archers this way, and these guys are angry now. Oh, crap, they're really angry. Uh... Here, send uh, this guy down here. Wow, even Thangle does nothing to help, and now Edoras is angry. Angry? How angry is Edoras? Oh, they're pretty angry. Okay, we're going to have to lower their tax right now. I'm not going to get too much money from this turn. Uh, family tree, what's happening? We've got a lot of new sons coming of age. Amur and Eowyn are getting older. So it looks like the crown will pass from Theoden to Theodrid. And then from there probably to Eomer, because by this point Eomund and Galmund are probably going to be dead. Of all factions overall... Isengard has now passed us. Uh, military... Isengard is still lower than us. Uh, Production-wise, we're finally going down. Isengard is still flatlining. Territorially, we have lost one, and Isengard has gotten one, so we're closer together now. Financially, everyone's just taking a crap. Although Isengard is starting to go up quite quickly in money. I don't know how he's doing that. Population doesn't matter. Yeah, we need to sort out our problems before they become too big. We're going to send our diplomat to parlay with the Sylvan Elves, get some trade rights. That should increase our income by a little bit. I can't believe Ugluck managed to defend against that. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, maybe it's because he's got plus one command when he's defending. I don't know. All I know is that that was weird. So Guineard is now held by, I believe it's Yagthak, the last army that we saw that was coming from Dunland. Now... So, all we can really do as of right now is just reinforce our frontiers, prepare for the coming storm. I don't think these guys need any more reinforcements, actually. These guys, Fulberg is going to need a lot of help, though. Uh, I believe that is our turn now. Gondor has given me map info, and it looks like he has taken North Athelion, so he's taken this, and that means that he also has Kyra Andros. Yes. Uh, but he lost East Osgiliath, and West Osgiliath is currently under siege. So we are going to try and rush down there as quickly as possible, but, uh, you know, not looking too great right now, but I will see you all next time because that's all we're going to really do for this turn so peace out